Dave yeah. Portnoy calling out the NFL for simping for Swift. I, I really don't understand that, but Dave Portnoy is with us now and he's going to explain it all. All right, Dave, always good to see you. You're a great guest. You're very articulate. So tell me, what on earth do you mean by simping? What's that all about? Well, simping means letting walk all over you, basically doing whatever you can to appease uh, somebody, uh, basically having a crush. And when you have a crush, you don't think logically. Stuart, but before we go further, I, I got to clarify, I am a Swifty. So do not, let's not paint me as anti-Swift. I'm wearing the friendship bracelets right now. I love Taylor Swift. But the NFL was simping for her. But it was good for the NFL. Show as much of her as you possibly can at every game she ever appears at. Viewership goes up. The TV shows make a fortune. And the NFL looks good. What, I mean, I don't know so what's wrong with that. Yeah, listen, nobody was going to watch the New York Jets if you don't put Taylor Swift on there. That's a poverty franchise that nobody cares about. What they're going to have to balance... I love Taylor. So, you know, I, I was, ooh, ah, there's Taylor. Who's she talking to? Is she drinking a high noon? All that. But the common NFL fan, you're going to have to walk a fine line between them being like, hey, I want to watch football. This is my time away maybe from my wife and my daughters to enjoy some me time, and you're turning it into a Taylor Swift concert. It's not my concern because I love both things, but you do have to walk that fine line with the tip. You don't want to alienate your normal crowd. I've never been to a Taylor Swift concert, but I'm told that they're really... Magic. Like, magic, yeah. Uh, people are not drunk, passed out, doing a lot of drugs. It's not like that. It's not violent. It's a lot of fun. That's a great new thing to bring to the, the, the whole idea of the, of the public concert. I'm a full supporter of that, and I'm sure you are too. It, Have you been to a concert? Yeah, the Taylor Swift concert... It is like no other event really I've ever been to. The entire crowd knows every word. They're into the songs. They're dressing up. And, and it doesn't matter. I went in a Taylor Swift fan, but there's plenty of people, whether it be dads or whoever, yeah. who take other people, and you get transformed. You do, nobody goes into a Taylor Swift concert not a fan and doesn't walk out a gigantic Swifty. She's that powerful. She's the best entertainer probably in 100 years, Stuart. Uh, 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 you've forgotten the Beatles, but we're going to move on from that. I've got to move on from that, OK? Uh, I understand I'll you... I'll let that slide. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, you, I, I met Paul McCartney the other day. He was at a concert I was at. OK, I'm moving on from this, OK? I, I understand you just paid, what, $42 million for a home on Nantucket. Now, that's a Nantucket Island, that's for Republicans. You don't go to Martha's Vineyard, which is all for Democrats. Are you, are you being political with your choice of mansion? No, I'm not. I, uh, I will say that I, I, I don't even consider... It's insulting to put Martha's Vineyard in the same sentence as Nantucket. It's a far superior island, um, and I would never, ever contemplate lowering myself to live on the vineyard. I am a Nantucket guy through and through. Um, so the, let the strip malls and whatever goes on in the vineyard stay in the vineyard. We'll stay in Nantucket. You're a class act. One last one for you. Ongoing debate for years. Who picks up the tab on a date? An L.A. Times columnist is asking whether men should pay on dates as reparations for the gender wage gap. What says Dave that Portnoy? Is, yeah, well, that's the L.A. Times just being dumb. Of course men should pay, but I don't know about it's a wage gap. You can still have, you know, men be gallant and, and um, have class, and that's what it is. Men should always pay on date. I don't know. Reparations for the past. How about just being a good guy? How about really? just that? Are you a gallant kind of guy, a romantic kind of guy? Of course. Who is it? No, I just chucked it out there. You had a chance to defend yourself. <laughs> okay, you're not going anywhere no, with that. I, I, I'm saying I am a romantic guy. And, and, of course, I am a firm believer that men should pick up the date. It doesn't have to be every time. But, yeah, of course. Well, there, when, you had, can, oh. when you had no money, did you pay on all dates? You try to. you got to factor in where you're going, right? If you have to go to McDonald's. But, I, yeah, I believe men should hold doors. I meant, believe men should pay for dates. I don't read into that as sexist or anything like that. You know, you can still do that and hopefully not have people yell at you in today's society. Okay, one last one about tipping. One of our producers recently had pizza delivered to the office here. Bill was 149 bucks. Uh, the tip that the, uh, the producer put on it was over $30. So what do you think? Is that excessive or is it, do you tip like that amount? 
I tip like a maniac, Stuart. But again, it's primarily because I'm filthy rich at this point, and I don't want people, they see that $42 million house, and like, Dave, just tip 5%. I'll be on your show for very different reasons. So I generally am almost 50 to 100% tipper, depending on the math. 50 to 100%? Whoa. Yeah, like if I go to a restaurant, it's 150. I'll I'll tip 100 bucks. Well, you're a hell of a guy. One last one, uh, really the last one. You appeared with Jesse Waters the other night. You wore a suit. You're all dressed up. I think you even had a tie on. But for me, it's a T-shirt. What do you think? You come down market with Varney? First of all, Stuart, I saw you moderating the debate. I didn't know you had it like that. Very impressive. Second, daytime prime time. Daytime, prime time. <laughs> At night, you got to put the tie on during the day. Golf shirt. That's how it works. You know that. You know, you're, you're all right. You really are. We enjoy having you on the show. You're a great communicator and a terrific broadcaster. Come back soon, Dave. See you again soon. Thank you, Stuart. You got it, sir.